The Beatles, you know, they had done everything they could do. They couldn't be more number one, so they fancied the idea of being businessmen. They wanted to pull all their resources into one place and take advantage of the income flow from all the different aspects of their career. They set up um, the record company, a film company, an invention company, which was Madhouse. That thing was crazy. Then the booking agency and the publishing. So they had like five divisions. And so I was the head of the record division in America. I had a, uh, the old Las Lou estate up in Laurel Canyon, which is a big main house and three guest houses. I had the servants, I had the gardener and the cook and the drivers. I had a, a home on 10 acres, a summer home up in Northern California in the Mendocino Coast. Actors and actresses and, and rock stars and all this kind of stuff in the house at one time. Uh, I'd have Ringo Starr and Leonard Nimoy at the house the same night and things like that, you know. A big part of my life, uh, you know, after the Beatles was the outlaw movement when I was producing Waylon and Jesse and Tom Paul and, and Willie and all those people. And the outlaws made the uh, rock and rollers look like choir boys. I mean, if you want to talk about down and dirty and drugs and, and a hard, rough life, you know, man, that was it. I always used to call it a separate reality. You get on the tour bus and nothing's real anymore. And then you get home and you go back into family and uh, nothing makes sense. So you're just in two completely different worlds all the time and I quit taking care of business. So now I'm not getting the hit records anymore. I'm not getting the big projects. So pretty soon the company goes down, takes me down with it. My life totally fell apart. It was such a lonely, empty feeling. I didn't have anything. I was just, all of a sudden, here I am, almost 50 years old, alone. It got to the point to where I was homeless one day. I was desperate. That was the very bottom. I had no place to go, I had no money. And then what I thought was my bottom was because I was just having such a bad time or I was being punished for being a bad person with all the reasons I thought. But just really God loving me so much that he knew it was time to start emptying all that stuff out so he could put something better in there. And the neat thing about it is, because I was with the Beatles, people say, Oh, this guy's got cred, right? I got street cred because I was with the Beatles, and if I was with the Beatles, I must know what I'm doing. And so if I was the Beatles and I say Jesus is cool, then, well, then he must be cool because this guy was with the Beatles, right? <laughs>